So I'm coming at you here with two, count them, two reviews in one because I watched two streaming only movies last night. The first one was the new Amazon Prime Chris Pratt um, movie called The Tomorrow War. Now, The Tomorrow War was, was originally supposed to come out in theaters. COVID happened. One thing led to another. It was bought out by Amazon and now it's only streaming on the Amazon Prime app. It stars Chris Pratt, Dexter's girlfriend from season seven and eight. A <laughs> uh, few other recognizable faces that you've seen before and J.K. Simmons in like five minutes of work. Um, and this movie is basically, we're in the year 2022. Chris Pratt and his family's hosting this party. There's a big sporting event on. Everybody's watching. And then out of nowhere, these people get like, or like teleport onto the field. And they start speaking into the camera saying, we are from 30 years in the future, the year 2052. We're fighting against these aliens. They're killing our, they're whooping our ass. And we created this thing to come to travel back in time. And now we need some of y'all humans to come into the future and help us fight this war. Otherwise, humanity's gonna die. Great premise, right? Excellent premise. Um, yeah, man, it was kind of a dud. There's, there's stretches in here. Like, I'm not going to say brief moments. There's stretches in here. Whole second part, when they get to the future, that shit is awesome. The aliens are cool. Yes, they're very, like, Xeno-looking, look like the Quiet Place monsters, kind of, like, they resemble that. Or even, like, the aliens from the Edge of Tomorrow movie. It's like that. Um, where they're mindless beasts, but there's a shit ton of them. They'll, they're relentless as fuck. And Chris Pratt is this biology teacher. <laughs> like, 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 what is it with these action movies casting actors like Chris Pratt and Mark Wahlberg and making them fucking biology teachers? Yeah, because when I look at Chris Pratt, that's the first thing that comes to mind. This motherfucker teaching me how to dissect the pig. Come on, man. Um, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so he gets drafted, you know, and he goes to the future. He has a particular set of skills, too, because he's a biology teacher now, but in the, but in the past, you know, he was a soldier, you know, just, just a quick way to explain why he's out here being the badass that he is. And yeah, like, when they're in the future and they're fighting the aliens and they're doing that part of the movie, I'm like, this is dope. This is cool. Um, It's just this book ended by them being in the present time and that the pacing is, it's just halted. The script and the dialogue is just terrible. <laughs> and yeah, like in the end, it just keeps getting more and more ridiculous to the point where they they fully just dropped the ball. They were juggling too too much and they're like, throwing more. And you're like, you sure? They're like, throwing more. See? Throwing more. And then and then boom, then it all just comes crippling down. And they weren't able to wrap it up neatly. I felt like, but you know, I, I still enjoyed it compared to this next movie that I'm about to talk about. And that is called Infinite. It's on the Paramount Plus streaming service, which I guess used to be the CBS Access or, or whatever the hell. And that stars Mark Wahlberg. And yet again, another great premise here. Like, Mark Wahlberg and all... Mark Wahlberg, and he's got a team, they're called infinites. They're basically mortals, but when they die, they get reborn in as like another child somewhere else. They have to relearn their memories, who they are, and find each other again, right? So there's a good group of people like that. There's a bad group of people like that. Mark 
Wahlberg leads the good group. She will tell you, Edgy Four leads the bad group. And now he's trying to, he's trying to die. All right, because these people have been dying and being reborn for thousands of years. And he's like, well, look, man, <laughs> I don't know about y'all niggas. I've had enough because when I get reborn, all of my memories and all of that shit comes back to me when I'm in the womb. You guys slowly get it in your childhood as you're growing up. All this shit hits this nigga like a truck in the womb. And the way he explained it, so I'm like, so when you're in the womb, you like, you're sentient, you know, it was weird. And they really don't go further into much detail about that. But yeah, so it's about these two sides of these immortal beings, one who wants wants to die and the other who who doesn't, and they're fighting over this MacGuffin that will kill all life on Earth because that's the only way that these things that these people can die is if there's no more people to reproduce. Therefore, they won't get reborn again. Um, and yeah, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm on board with that premise. Just duller than a box of rocks. Nothing happens here. There's an opening car chase that's actually pretty cool. It's reminiscent of Fast and Furious. Uh, there's several scenes in here. I'm like, that's from the Fast and Furious. That would have been the Fast and Furious. That definitely would have been the fucking Fast and Furious. Uh, but yeah, like nothing happens here. The dialogue is horrendous. Horrendous. Ugh. Like, I was so disappointed in this. It's Mark Wahlberg, who I like. It's directed by Antoine Fuqua, who's made Training Day, The Magnificent Seven. Like, I like his movies. He's pretty decent when it comes to action and intensity. Here, there was none of that. Absolutely none of that. There's not a single action sequence, set piece, whatever, that I'm going to take away from this, except for one. And that was the very end. And I'm going to spoil it for you. This motherfucker... So the bad guy's getting away on a plane, right? And there's a mountain. Mark Wahlberg's on a motorcycle. You pretty much know where I'm going with this. Plane coming up. Mark Wahlberg uh, flying on the motorcycle, right? Jumps off the mountain. Lands on the fucking wing of the plane. He's got this samurai sword. Stabs it into the wing of the fucking plane. And that's how he gets on the plane. I was like, okay. That's some Vin Diesel Fast and the Furious shit. Does Antoine Fuqua want to direct a Fast and the Furious movie? Like, you can just tell us. You didn't need to make this piece of shit. But he did anyways. Um, and yeah, man, like, there was not a... N nothing, nothing in here that I took away that I liked, that I could text someone about. Not a damn thing. The buddy I was watching it with fell asleep. He fell asleep. And, I, and about halfway through, I like finishing movies. But I was like, I'm going to just go home. My friend's asleep. I'm not into this shit. Now it's time to... Taco Bell is going to close soon. I want to get there for they close. I might just go. But I wrote it out, and I wish I did it. So that's those two reviews for you of The Tomorrow War and Infinite. Check out The Tomorrow War. Don't even get Paramount Plus to, to <laughs> like, don't even sign up for free, man. Forget that shit.